The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. Now, I, before reading this book, had always wanted to read this book. It had always been on my shelf since I was a little kid. I had loved the uh, the Disney movie, the uh, you know the the original cartoon. It was like one of my favorite Disney uh, Disney movies. And so, going into this book, I didn't know exactly what to expect, uh, except for you know I figured it would have to do with a boy in the jungle and a tiger and all that stuff. But I did not expect necessarily for the book to be as like I don't know what the word is barbaric maybe. <laughs> uh, cool, dark, uh, serious. Uh, I didn't expect that. I had heard maybe some rumblings from people in the past that have told me about the book that it's, it's not quite like the children's movie, but I didn't realize that the book was like, I mean, it's, it gets serious and it's just really cool. Now it's important to point out that the jungle book is actually really, at least my book anyways, it's a collection of short stories. So the first couple of short stories have to do with Mowgli in the jungle and it's what you would normally think of as the jungle book but it's actually a whole bunch of other uh, short stories like uh, there's the white seal Ricky Tiki Tavi Tumai of the elephants uh, you know there's actually a whole bunch of other stories that just kind of have to do with nature uh, and that are actually not connected to the Jungle Book or the, the, the Jungle Book story of Mowgli. Uh, and so that's important to point out. So don't go into the book thinking that all of these pages has to have to do with, um, you know, Mowgli and Shere Khan and uh, Bagheera and all those. But um, the, it is the longest story in the book, I will say, though. Um, now, what did I think of it, though? As I said, like, it is pretty, like... I don't know if the word maybe tribal, I mean like, it's just like the language, the way it's written, the way the wolves speak to one another, it's like epic. Like I did not expect the book to be as epic as it was. Um, and just as like, yeah, like tribal and dark. Like it's really, really cool. There's a part in the, uh, in the book where Ka, the Python, who strangely enough, like the story of Mowgli in this book is quite different than the story in uh, the Disney movie. Not just in humor, but just like storyline. Like Ka in the in the movie uh, is you know a dangerous python that seeks to like eat Mowgli, and in this Ka actually comes to the rescue and saves you know Bagheera and Baloo and Mowgli as they're at this at the Monkey Palace, and he there's this crazy scene in the book where. Ka just starts basically, I mean, he's slithering around in the monkey palace and all these monkeys are around him and he basically seduces a bunch of these monkeys to just come towards him and he eats them one by one. And he almost seduces, uh, you know, Bagheera, Baloo, and uh, Mowgli. But that scene with Ka is so, like, it's just super cool. And that's, I would say, like, the imagery and just kind of the uh, dramatic tone of the book, it's lost in the movie, both the live action movie and the uh, animated version. I would love to see a properly done Jungle Book movie that is dramatic, that has the darkness, has the epic language, the almost the poetic language. Um, unfortunately, that probably won't happen. Uh, but you do have the book to read and it's really, really, really cool. I will say, the only thing in the book where I was like, oh, that's a little disappointing, Shere Khan wasn't really that scary. He was kind of a buffoon. Um, whereas, you know, in like the movie, uh, you know, he's pretty pretty terrifying. And it is like, you know, he is hunting the child and all of that, and that is scary, but he's kind of like a lame tiger is the thing. Uh, and so that was, I don't know, I guess slightly disappointing. I wanted it to be, I wanted the whole, interaction between Mowgli and Shere Khan to be more, like, scary than it was. Um, but, yeah, overall, The Jungle Book, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a great book that I'll read to my children. Uh, you know, it's a novel that, uh, well, it's, you know, it's a series of short stories, but they're all, you know, they're just all great fiction, and the story of Mowgli is by far the best uh, story in the book, and uh, 
I don't know, I'll read it to my children. I think it's really great for the imagination. And even as an adult, I just, I really enjoyed it. Like it's, it's just a cool book. And so, um, those are my thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, on The Jungle Book. Now I'm going to uh, hand over the reins of this conversation to you. So uh, if you have read The Jungle Book, uh, please tell me what you thought of it, any questions you might have, and put all of that in the comment section below of this video. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And never forget to...